So in 1994, this guy, an explorer if you will, set out on an expedition. He flew to the middle of nowhere, of all places, to Sumatra. He hiked through the equatorial rainforest. He found some seeds. He distributed these seeds to various botanical gardens around the world, including Yukon. When it grew, it became this. Now this is the corpse flower, and it's called the corpse flower because it smells like a corpse. Um, it really smells rancid. The, uh, it smells kind of overpowering. It smells like old shoes. Today this rare flower is a large tourist attraction. Here this morning, the Titanarum, or corpse flower, here at the University of Connecticut Biology Greenhouses. And uh, when we got a batch of seeds, and we grew up uh, several plants that are now mature and probably will flower for us every few years. Uh, this one flowered last year has decided to flower again, which is fairly unusual. These flowers grow very quickly. Um, about a week, uh, about two weeks ago, when we first noticed that uh, this plant was going to flower again, this shoot was only about that high. Since it's relying on stored carbohydrates that are underground, it puts on mass very quickly. The leaf performs photosynthesis, it captures sunlight, it makes food that's sent down into the tuber. Most of this large pot down here is uh, filled up with this large starchy tuber. Right now there's a, definitely a little bit of a nasty odor to it, but uh, that smell actually draws in the insects which pollinate the plant. If this was out in the wild in Sumatra, it would attract carrion beetles and little insects called sweat bees, which like dead bodies and decaying things to eat and to lay their eggs in. They may bring pollen from another plant in that pollinates the female flowers that are down kind of hidden inside here at the base of the flower. Uh, the next day, the plant sheds its pollen and any insects that are still around will get pollen on them and hopefully carry the pollen off to another corpse flower to uh, pollinate the plant so it can set seeds and uh, generate the uh, next generation of corpse flowers. To visit the corpse flower, go between the Edward Gantt Science Complex and the Physics Building on the Stores campus.